Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Mysterious Monsters. In this week's episode we take a look at the Muddy Monster. Now near midnight in 1973 a young couple was parked by a desolate riverside for a romantic interlude when they came face to face with a huge wet hurry mud slathered monstrosity with a penchant for disturbing teenage lovers. Right off the bat that is a classic monster you know, go, they go to a lover's point and boom, monster attacks straight away. Now, during two harrowing weeks in the summer of 1973, the rural town of Murfreesboro, Illinois became the epicentre of a terrifying series of encounters with a huge albino beast which would come to be known later as the Murfreesboro Mud Monster or just the, you know, the big muddy monster. Now, this bizarre brute tormented the citizens of this small community which is tucked away in the southern western region of the state for approximately 14 days before its reign of terror abruptly ended, resulting in one of the strangest and in some ways most frightening cases in the history of hurry humanoid research. While there is are some who suggest that the first account of the creature came from an unnamed man who claimed to have seen this thing while gardening outside of his isolated Westwood Hills area home before it was developed into a neighborhood in the 1950s. Most agree that the first official you know, encounter with this uh, unhygienic beast occurred at approximately midnight on the 25th of June 1973. The first known eyewitness were a youthful couple, Randy Needham and Judy Johnson, who were parked at the foot of 23rd Street in Riverside Park, near the town's old boat ramp overlooking the Big Muddy River. Johnson's father has expressively forbidden his daughter from dating Needham, which is why the pair chose to, you know, an isolated location to their illicit, you know, you know, hook up, if you would. It would be a decision which they would soon come to regret. According to their account, Johnson claimed that they were listening on, you know, to the radio, engaging in a debate about, you know, whether they should leave, and presumably, you know, doing what couples are, you know, want to do, when they heard a piercing roar, which Needham compared to an eagle shrieking into a microphone that seemed to emanate from the thick underbush not far from his car. Needham quickly snapped off the radio and scanned the area, listening intensely. Suddenly, another horrific shriek echoed through the night, accompanied by a rattling of a bushwood in front of them. Needham flicked on his headlights, and Johnson gasped as they both saw a huge, foul-sensed creature lumbering toward them, a creature whose very existence would tax the limits of their imaginations. Needham wasted no time in starting his car and accelerated away from the scene which is you know with a frightened frightened girlfriend as the pair entered more civilized territory they drove in stunned silence for a few moments before discussing whether or not they should report their encounter to the police johnson knew full well that once they made an official report it would reveal their secret romance but she decided that the trouble she would was bound to get into when her father found out about Needham and nothing compared to what the monster they just saw might be capable of. It was then that the selfless duo made a beeline for the Murfreesboro police station. The couple arrived at the station and made out what is known as unknown creature. Describing a beast that looked uh, like an oversized gorilla which they estimated to be about eight feet tall uh, with matted mud streaked white fur. Former patrolman, now retired Murfreesboro Police Chief Ron Manwaring, was still able to recite the facts of this strange incident from memory almost three decades later. The first report came in just before midnight on the 25th of June. A couple had been parked near the boat dock on the southern, you know, southwestern edge of Riverside Park next to the woods. The two who were not named or married said they were in the car when they heard a loud screaming sound in the wood area and observed a large creature approximately eight feet tall. The creature appeared to have light-coloured hair matted with mud. The creature appeared to be walking on two legs 
and was proceeding toward the car. Marin felt that the couple's account was lent credi you know, it, it lacked credibility due to the fact that they risked exposing their alleged, you know, indiscretions, which would no doubt bring them public, you know, ridicule and even more alarmingly Johnson's father's wrath. Uh, because they were so frightened by what they had seen by the river, there was no advantage for them to come up and report this. While officials who took down Needham and Johnson's statement were understandably sceptical of their event, they dutifully sent out two patrolmen, uh, Merrill Lindsay and Jamie Nash, to investigate their report. Within minutes of the sighted, the officers arrived at the boat ramp in Riverside Park area to inspect the scene and would you believe it there was nothing there but they saw peculiar tracks approximately 10 to 12 inches long and approximately 3 inches wide deep impressed into the mud by the riverbank so that is a very large foot <laughs> that is extremely large now the thing that gets me about this mud monster is that its fur is actually white. <coughs> Excuse me. Its fur is actually white, but yet it rolls around in the mud, so it, obviously the fur now becomes matted and brown. So to me, a white ape would it be or unknown creature? It it's, it seems to me like it's your classic uh, monster from a movie, but. This one is definitely one that I can't, I can't even believe I haven't, I haven't even done yet until now. Uh, but definitely one to, you know, look out for and watch on reports and stuff like that. Um, so anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please, uh, you know, subscribe, leave us a like, come to our Facebook page, like us. And um, look out for more videos. And soon, sooner rather than later, we'll be doing ghost hunts as well. So thank you very much for watching, please stay tuned for more.